literally running through the start line with the spinnakers up. And uh, mixed fleet, we were in, we were in the mark at the time, when I was like really young, and there was a, a dart, dart 16 racing with us, and my dad managed to squeeze the dart one hole either side of the fixed perch. <laughs> 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 and it just stopped. A lark against the dart, you know, the dart should have been miles away, and the dart was just stuck there for ages, just waiting to try and get himself in time. It was hilarious. He didn't have rights. He did not have rights to get in there. No, you can't get in here. You can get one hole in here, but you can't get both holes in here. Some of my worst starts were the best ones were in dinghies. I mean, the best worst starts. I think the, the, the best best worst start was when I um, capsized on the line as we, we pulled the sails into the old something weird happened and we we actually capsized. And then that was that wasn't just thirty boats in front of us. It was about 150, 130, mm -hmm. what was it, hundred and fifty. I think the, the, the thing is just practice, isn't it? It's it, it's practice. Maybe maybe time starts to improve the percentage, so you can be confident about getting in there. Um, but just just practice. Maybe it's going out and just saying, right, I'm going to have, you know, get out half an hour earlier, and do four practice starts. Just set your watch and go right. You know, that's it. And actually, as you go through those site those sequences, there'll be more people coming out into the starting area to create some obstructions for you to have to figure out what you're going to do about it. So you, you, you can get out and do four, four starts in the evening and then do a real one. He's used the practice word again. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's interesting, uh, the, the, some of the sailing I've done, you, you sort of, you see some of the better sailors and they do practice quite a lot. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Got more time on the hands <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, they, and they, uh, they have coaches and all sorts and uh, um, so they, they head off and they do a lot of time on their own and uh, there are all sorts of different concepts for coaching but uh, self-coaching, that's, that's one of the, the terms for it, just going out and sailing about and um, get, putting your spinnaker up and down by yourself and doing all sorts of things in, the, in a relaxed atmosphere <coughs> as opposed to just simply turning up on the, on the race course and trying to expect everything to work properly. Watch the America's Cup footage from the when we got to they had the series in was it Bahrain? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Mm. Just see if you can get it on the iPlayer because it is quite interesting to watch it. I was I was shocked to see Ben Ainsley over the start twice, two races running. I'm not and it's quite interesting because again, you know, the speed of those boats and the size and all the rest of it. And they again, six of them on the start line going incredibly fast. I don't think they've given them a particularly large start line for the speed and size of those boats. And, and they're doing that manoeuvring. And actually, you know, the footage is, is really good to watch. And actually, they've got a really good description about what those boats are thinking about doing. Mm. You can think about, you know, the tactics of what they're doing. Exactly the same as, as you would want to be thinking about in this. Sometimes your, your best laid plans just don't come together. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you go through through phases of having, having good starts and then you just can't do it at all. Usually, probably because the plan kind of falls apart in some way, so we stop using the uh, the planned start, yeah. or having a plan that's too rigid, mm. so, so you, you you're not able to adapt it to, to meet the situation. Because you can't, you know, you can set a plan like this. And that's right. <laughs> what to do a plan B, long, yeah. You know, we'll be boat one. Right, boats two to six. You're going to do exactly what we tell you to do, because then we'll have a great start. It's not going to happen like that. There'll be somebody, there'll be somebody who'll come around the pin and, and screw you up and you could take it on the chin. Um, was that the right place to be? Is it, you know, because that was a situation that could occur. It was quite a varied fleet. Um, so it is, it is just going out, trying different things. And just make sure you don't hit anybody. That's the big one, just don't. Thank you. I'm maybe ask a general question for, you know, for everybody. What, what things do you do, let's say, up when do you think are, key fast thing that you do, everybody must have one or two things they feel that they do, whether it's um, sail trim or, or, or the way they're steering the boat or, 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 or something, do you, do you have anything you feel mm, that you do that perhaps others are 
or not to do. Well, I always prefer to have the main sheet myself, so as a yeah, 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 yeah. main sail and, and tiller. And I do that as well, I just mm. find it strange somebody's like, I'm like somebody and somebody else has got the rake somewhere, it's just doesn't And I need the, the jib to be adjusted when I want it adjusted, which is, you know, again, the, the, um, the trimming of the jib based on um, two turns of the bottom winch and, and taking up to the top so as people can trim So you're leaving the winching at the jib from the windward side? Yeah, from so the high side. Side. So, I mean, Over side. Uh, sorry, are you adjusting it as you're sailing up wind? Oh yes, yeah. So <coughs> if you're slowing down, you might let out a little mm. bit, or, or mm. if there's one point high, you tweak it in a bit. Is that, is that yeah. the sort of thing you mean? And it's from the high side to prevent some yes. bob yeah, 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 it's a menace on somebody goes down. It's yeah. quite disturbing. Okay. It's very, very important to have everybody on the right side of the boat if it's windy, and you don't want anybody passing <coughs> out on the wrong side. So you 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 fiddle about with your jib a bit going up wind. Yes, is that fair to say, mm -hmm. in most conditions? Uh, to some extent, yes. Yeah. And what would this be as an adjustment? Are you talking like <coughs> tiny, <coughs> tiny amounts? Half an inch, a centimetre? <laughs> yeah, <coughs> half an inch maybe. And so will you say to the trimmer then, can you let that out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just 